This is WABC, 770 AM from New York City. We currently have some breaking and disturbing news out of North Korea. Within a past few days, tensions between the United States and North Korean have reached a breaking point, and have threatened to strike the United States with missiles within the next few days. These threats have been taken seriously, with activity occurring at military bases within the past few hours, concerning that a nuclear launch is possible from the country, or as is, being threatened for the United States to back off of North Korea. With this occurring, it is likely that anyone within a 10-mile radius of major cities and military bases are being evacuated as a precaution. This message was relayed though nearly an hour ago. We have remained since we are one of the major stations in our area, but our TV broadcasting station has left, and most of the TV stations in the United States are off the air at this point. Our stations, WCBS and 1010 WINS are the only stations that are still on the air in our area. We will bring the latest information on the possible nuclear attack occurring within possibly the next few hours. Again, even though this situation may not happen. Oh no, why do I hear sirens outside? I don't like this. Maybe they are testing the sirens before any type of attack occurs, as I don't hear anything coming from the in-deck yet. So, I don't know what is happening across the country, if sirens are going off too, but we will wait and see. Oh no, something is coming through at the in-deck. Stand by and I'll figure out what this is for everyone. Oh no, God no, this isn't good. This is an emergency action notification. Please stand by for this message. Please stand by for a message from the President. Please stand by for a message from the President. Please stand by for a message from the President. Ladies and gentlemen, I really never wanted to ever make this message in my presidency, but it has come to this point where, during a time of tensions and crisis, it has happened. I can sadly confirm that at 8.17 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, after failures of negotiation of peace between us and North Korea, North Korea has taken action and has launched a total of 20 nuclear missiles that are armed with nuclear warheads at the United States. We have to, as a result and for retaliation, have launched two nuclear missiles, with both of them armed with nuclear warheads, which are both targeted to hit North Korea. Missiles heading for the United States are about 20 to 35 minutes, depending on the time zone. Pacific Daylight Timmy Mountain Daylight Time will be impacted sooner than Central Daylight Time and Eastern Daylight Time. Anyone in the United States should seek a fallout shelter now or go into the lowest, most interior room of your house or building. Make sure to bring you food, water, clothing, flashlight, a battery, powered radio with extra batteries, clothing and blankets. Please stay in your shelter until 14 days after impacts occur or an all-clear message is sent, whichever comes first. This is an indeed a sad day and a catastrophic day occurring for the United States. I never really exoctate a day like this to happen. I am really sorry to the American public to let this happen as I really should have not tried to pressure North Korea into doing such things. However, we will eventually come out of this stronger than ever before. God bless you all and God bless the United States of America.
This is WEP 104.1 FM. We are in emergency programming due to a national emergency in effect. 20 nuclear missiles have been launched at the United States and are expected to hit within the next 15, 25 minutes. Impacts are most likely to occur in the major cities of the United States including New York City, Boston, and Chicago. Here in the Lehigh Valley, we should be fine from any significant impacts. However, everyone still should remain in shelter as fallout can spread for hundreds of miles outside of the impact area. We will stay on the air. The following message is being transmitted by the request of the United States government. It has now been confirmed that there are now 22 missiles bound for the United States. Target locations of these missiles have also been trajected. These places include Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Boston, Massachusetts, Bangor, Maine, Washington, D.C., Atlanta, Georgia, Raleigh, North Carolina, Asheville, North Carolina, Charlestown, South Carolina, Miami, Florida, Chicago, Illinois, Houston, Texas, Dallas, Texas, Scranton, Pennsylvania, New Orleans, Louisiana, Las Vegas, Nevada, San Diego, California, Los Angeles, California, San Francisco, Boise, Idaho, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Washington and Denver, Colorado. These missiles are expected to impact within the next 10-20 minutes. All residents within 200 mile radius of these cities must seek a fallout shelter now. Anyone within a 10 mile radius that have not evacuated must evacuate now, due to possible destruction from impacts from nuclear warheads. Once you have evacuated from the 10 mile radius, you must immediately seek a self shelter, as impacts will occur almost as soon as you exit the evacuation zone. Evacuate now, as this is a life threatening situation. Bring food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a battery-powered radio with extra batteries, blankets for extra warmth. Evacuate with one vehicle per family if possible, to limit traffic on roads. Stay tuned for more information on this deadly situation. We are back after that message. As you heard, it is now confirmed that 22 missiles are now on track for the United States. The closest missile to impact us is Scranton, which is only 55 miles away from us. Even though we are out of the worst of the impact, nuclear fallout can still cause deadly consequences if caught outside. We will continue to broadcast new information that comes out. Other than that, we will repeat the most recent alert that came out for our area. The following message is being transmitted by the request of the United States government. It has now been confirmed that there are now 22 missiles bound for the United States. Target locations of these missiles have also been trajected. These places include Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Boston, Massachusetts, Bangor, Maine, Washington, D.C., Atlanta, Georgia, Raleigh, North Carolina, Asheville, North Carolina, Charlestown, South Carolina, Miami, Florida, Chicago, Illinois, Houston, Texas, Dallas, Texas, Scranton, Pennsylvania, New Orleans, Louisiana, Las Vegas, Nevada, San Diego, California, Los Angeles, California, San Francisco, Boise, Idaho, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Washington and Denver, Colorado. These missiles are expected to impact within the next 10-20 minutes. All residents within 200 mile radius of these cities must seek a fallout shelter now. Anyone within a 10 mile radius that have not evacuated must evacuate now, due to possible destruction from impacts from nuclear warheads. Once you have evacuated from the 10 mile radius, you must immediately seek a self shelter, as impacts will occur almost as soon as you exit the evacuation zone. Evacuate now, as this is a life threatening situation. Bring food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a battery-powered radio with extra batteries, blankets for extra warmth. Evacuate with one vehicle per family if possible, to limit traffic on roads. Stay tuned for more information on this deadly situation.
The following message is being transmitted by the request of the United States government. It has now been confirmed that there are now 22 missiles bound for the United States. Target locations of these missiles have also been trajected. These places include Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Boston, Massachusetts, Bangor, Maine, Washington, D.C., Atlanta, Georgia, Raleigh, North Carolina, Asheville, North Carolina, Charlestown, South Carolina, Miami, Florida, Chicago, Illinois, Houston, Texas, Dallas, Texas, Scranton, Pennsylvania, New Orleans, Louisiana, Las Vegas, Nevada, San Diego, California, Los Angeles, California, San Francisco, Boise, Idaho, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, and Denver, Colorado. These missiles are expected to impact within the next 10-20 minutes. All residents within 200-mile radius of these cities must seek a fallout shelter now. Anyone within a 10-mile radius that have not evacuated must evacuate now, due to possible destruction from impacts from nuclear warheads. Once you have evacuated from the 10-mile radius, you must immediately seek a self-shelter, as impacts will occur almost as soon as you exit the evacuation zone. Evacuate now, as this is a life-threatening situation. Bring food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a battery-powered radio with extra batteries, blankets for extra warmth. Evacuate with one vehicle per family if possible, to limit traffic on roads. Stay tuned for more information on this deadly situation. We now have more news, as we are about five minutes away from the rest of the strikes across the eastern United States. Anywhere within a 25-mile radius of impact sites have been leveled on impact, killing anyone that was in the area. This is a situation that cannot be underlooked. Evacuation areas are being expanded to 25-mile radius now as an attempt to lessen the amount of casualties that occurs in the Northeast, but due to the fact that it could take five minutes just to get back to the car and evacuate, it is a voluntary for 10, 25 miles though. We will stay on the air for as long as possible as mentioned until we do get knocked off the air. We are inside a shelter though, and we may even be able to broadcast through the next 14 days as long as the blast doesn't knock off our transmitter. Impacts are expected to be significant, and it is being predicted to take 10, 12 days for fallout to clear out of affected areas. However, areas where fallout in areas that will be affected by fallout from two or more impact areas could take 12, 14 days until it clears out. Even when the all-clear message is issued, fallout still may be present, and you are advised to not spend too much time outside, maybe a maximum of one hour before you could be infected. I also forgot to mention that it could take a full month for the complete removal of fallout from affected areas. Fallout can spread for hundreds of miles, and Canada and Mexico all likely to experience fallout too. Also, the farther you are away from impact sites, the less of fallout you will get. Once you are safe, and it's been about a day, take off any clothes you were wearing and wash them to get rid of any radioactive materials that possibly got in. Just make sure you can sit and relax in your shelter and don't go outside until you are told you may. Damage reports continue to come in from the West Coast, and they are just terrifying. Oh, what is that sound outside and why does it seem so close?